Hi, I'm Mrs. Nelson. I'm going to be your second grade teacher. I'm here right now in our classroom. It's still a work in progress. I can't wait to meet you all. I'm so excited that you're in my class. And I'm excited that we get to be in class. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the classroom and some expectations um, that we can talk about more when I see you all on August 31st or on September 1st. So that's already next week. The summer flew by so fast. All right. So the first thing that we have to, I want to go over is that in, from, I know in first grade, you may or may not have had math homework. We have math homework in um, second grade. So each day in our Gator folder, there will be a math page. Well, most days. And then we, here's our agenda book. We will write, um, the math page in our agenda on this page um, and it would probably say math page two and then we also have reading minutes so ultimately I would love for you to read 20 minutes a day but I know sometimes that time uh, things get in the way so whatever you can read each night and so we'll read write read 20 minutes so parents when you're looking at their agenda book you'll find right here we'll tell all the things that they have due or anything fun that's going to be happening. Then on the other side, so if I open it up like this, on the other side, parents, you will sign right here. You'll sign that you've seen it. Sometimes I might put a note here, or if you want to write a note there, you can. And then right here is a little book. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little open book. You can write how many minutes your child read that day. So if I read 10 minutes, I'd write a 10. So that's how we do our homework. And this comes home every day and goes home every day so that we can check and that keeps open communication with us. Um, so sign and write your reading minutes in here. Snacks. We do have um, a pretty long morning of learning. We don't eat lunch until noon. So if you would be willing to send once a month a number of snacks for the whole class some things we've had in the past are like a bag of pretzels and I can just dump a little bit on each kid's desk or um, individually wrapped fruit snacks that'd be great so once a month we do have a peanut allergy so please make sure that you look that you're not sending anything that has peanuts or nuts or tree nuts or anything like that in it um, and then birthday treats and you'll get some a little handout that has all this in it um, birthday treats. We uh, can have birthday treats, but they have to be individually wrapped. Um, preferably if you could bring them a day ahead of time, that would be great. So individually wrapped birthday treats are okay, just like last year. Um, let's see, school will be providing water bottles. Um, they bought everybody a water bottle because we can't use the drinking fountain. So your child will have a water bottle we can fill them in the drinking fountain. So we have a drinking fountain that has the water filler. That will be open, but the spigot where the kids can drink from, that won't be open. That, they can't use that. So if you can make sure that each week your child brings back that water bottle or a water bottle to fill, um, I will send it home on Friday unless you change, decide to have your child bring it back every day. Um, but on Fridays for sure so that your children can get their water bottles clean and then bring them back on Monday so they have something to drink from. Again, remember the drinking fountains for them to drink out of are going to be um, closed. Uh, masks. Um, the kids can either wear their masks or face shields. All, they have to wear them throughout the day. Um, except for at recess time when they go outside and play at recess. If you could maybe have an extra mask in their backpack just in case one gets dirty, like if they accidentally sneeze in one, they have an extra one to keep in their desk or in their backpack. But they'll be wearing masks all day. Um, let's see, we're in a cohort. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're in a cohort model. So that means we're all together in our classroom. So all the students that are going to be in this classroom with me will be in this classroom most of the day. They will come in in the morning and eat breakfast in the classroom. They will eat lunch in the classroom. They will go outside for recess. I will take them outside and we will be in an area away from other people to play outside. Um, art and music will come into the classroom to teach. And then Jim, for now, while it's nice out, they'll be outside. Sometimes we might go outside to do some reading. Maybe I'll read to you outside. 
we'll do some running outside. So at, right now, while it's nice, Jim can be outside. When it's rainy, they'll be in our room. Um, let's see, they are going to um, be sanitizing everything at night. So if you could have, um, I'm gonna make sure that your children bring back everything that's in their lockers home every night. So they can't keep a lot of stuff in their lockers. I did have some students that like to fill their lockers last year with stuff, but this year everything has to go home so that they can sanitize those lockers. And they're gonna be sanitizing everything daily. Um, no visitors are allowed in the building um, due to trying to keep the contact um, low. Uh, we are lucky, the doors that our kids, so each grade level has an assigned door that they can come in. So um, second grade is lucky. Our pickup and drop off doors are door number one, which are the office doors, which is what they did last year. They went out the, well, at least my, first, my second graders last year went out door one and came in door one. So if your child is parent pick up, drop off, or a walker, they will go out door one, which is the, the office doors. And if they're a busser, <laughs> we're right next to the bus, the actual bus doors that they drop off. So second graders actually get to come in bus door number two, which is our bus doors. So that's how they're gonna, and when you come, you will go through door one. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything. We're gonna try and build a lot of relationships which is very important to this year. So we're gonna do a morning meeting. Um, it's a great way to get to know the kids. We'll do some small groups um, in reading and math. Uh, let's see, uh, I can't wait. Um, for conferences on Monday, make sure that you bring their supplies and you can pay your class fees then. To me, the office will not be open at that time um, because they'll be around the building helping others. Your uh, School pictures will be at um, on uh, Monday or Tuesday as well when you come. Um, let's see. I'm going to, when we meet, I'm going to ask you a few questions about your students' interests, their goals, how I can best support you and your partnership as the school and keeping the communication open. If you have any um, devices that you need help to get like Seesaw on, um, please bring it. Mr. Osgood would be, will be here to help out with that. Also, in my classroom, I'm gonna slide this over just a little bit. There's a wall right over here where that blue paper is. And it says, this is us. That is my family wall. And that wall, I have kids bring in pictures if they want of their family or their pets. They can bring two, three, and they'll bring the pictures in because we're a family. We're gonna be together for nine months. So we, we should get to know each other. And I have pictures of my family and former students on my wall and my pets. So I think it's important that the kids can bring their family pictures and pets. So if you're willing to let them bring a picture of their pets or, or family members, they will bring it in. They will share it with the class, tell who they are and anything they want to tell about the pictures. And then I put it on the wall and it stays on the wall for the whole year so that they can see their family in the classroom throughout the day, especially if they're feeling a little sad, they can go, oh, there's my mom or there's my dad, or there's my dog spot. So if you would like to bring, and that's more, I'll send more paper or more information on that in a paper that'll go home with them. All right, I think I pretty much have told you everything. I know that's a lot of information and you can re-watch this video. Um, I look forward to seeing you and uh, have a great rest of the summer. We'll see you next week. I'm so excited to get to know you. Have a great summer or have a great week.